So I'm gonna run through this really quick. Basically, how I made this uh, monster is that I took some of the existing assets that I had already in the past. So let's say from this um, entity that I made or that I stole before. Uh, so basically, all I got most of these things from the toolbox, and uh, I combined most of them. So these aren't really my assets fully, but I combine many different ideas together like the rib cage and then the, this thing the mouth on all this and all the, of course the character all to make this one pretty scary looking character so you can do this with many things i mean hey it's all right okay it's allowed but don't make it too similar to whatever you're copying or stealing i'm not look i'm not advising you to completely steal okay i'm, I'm saying change things up and make it your own okay for example like this the character i would mutant something I don't know. I'll see. It. It's this one right here. Look. I right. see. It's the same character, but guess what? This is what I did. All right. So basically, I'll show you guys how you can change up like a character and stuff basically easily. So um, it's the textures. Okay. So all I did was I removed the textures. So this is the group I took and I did zero. Okay. Or you can just just do nothing. Just do do nothing. And then what I did is I took everything else other than the head, and I made it all foil. Okay. Oh, there's foil there it is then i made it like a dark red and as you can see look there you go <laughs> see it looks similar to the character and then i took the, some assets from the other entities that i made before the teeth and the, the the mouth basically from this guy here i took from this guy and the mouth i took from from this guy and yeah i just copied and pasted it and positioned it right and i put it on okay now if you now let's say that this is your final product okay now i'm going i'm just getting straight forward to this video what you're gonna do now is rig it okay so you're done with the monster now what you gotta do is rig it so you can animate it and get it to actually work so you're gonna need this plugin i don't know what it's called but i'm pretty sure it's it's, it's just a rigging I think, I think it's called rig editor i'm not sure but it goes here and you're gonna click on plugins over there click um search up rigging yeah okay, it's this one this one rig editor there you go if this guy doesn't like if your monster doesn't have a humanoid it won't work you can't rig it so you gotta make it actually a character first put a humanoid in it. there you go but let me insert a new part here and you gotta put it in the middle okay remember you gotta put it in the middle of this character so let's uh let's say like this i guess so like over there yeah maybe i think that's that's the middle <laughs> i don't know <laughs> is that though it's okay you get the idea right so then you want to call this humanoid root part i'm going to put this inside of the actual group the your um the monster creation is it, where is it oh there it is the human root part we can anchor it for now and also you want to go to the group here and you're going to set the primary part to the human root part this is a crucial step because i forgot as well and my ai wasn't working and i was wondering why so now that you have the two most important things which is the human root part and the humanoid that make up the character you can start to rig it okay so to use this editor it's quite simple okay I click on that all right cool all right so basically just follow what i do all right so now this is an important the important part okay so the base part the only base part you're gonna need for the human root part is the lower torso so you want to click on you want to use the explorer tab okay click on human root part then you're gonna click on the lower torso okay if you have that and then you're gonna from here the lower torso connects to the upper torso and then from the upper torso connects to the right arm the right upper arm and then the right upper arm connects to the right lower arm right lower arm crawl next to the uh right um hand and then there you go then we can continue so upper goes to left you get the idea right basically so you want to keep on doing that okay but now we're not done here okay let's say that this is all finished okay i'm just showing you guys an example but this is of course not finished i didn't rig all the things you need to rig everything in your monster uh, to make it work you want to actually position this you want to go click on edit joints and you want to put these uh, uh, but like to the start of the uh, arm or whatever basically the start of the limb okay <laughs> if that's if that makes sense you know what i mean we basically want to put it to the part where it connects okay like the two parts so let's say it's this one would be good here over there see that's pretty good and make it in the center as well so like over the center of the top so the top of it basically and the hand and that's not where the hand joints are that's yeah you want to put the joints that's what it's called see i lost words there it's the joints and you want to put it down here yeah there you go and so yeah that's what you're gonna do 
move the joints to the actual joint where it's meant to join and once you do that your monster should be done ready to animate and um so we will have this so this is what i have to animate it it's quite simple you just want to go over to uh you can either use a moon animator which you can get also from the plugins tab but uh for this one i used the normal animator the default animator everyone has the animation editor so you're gonna click that and then you want to click on who you want to animate so i'll click on this one okay cool and then basically if you don't know how animating works i could make a whole video on that but um that, there, you, there you go and then you animate it <laughs> And then yeah that's basically how you can make a monster this is the animating part so once you animate it you can export it um by doing this click on publish roblox blah 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 yada 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 okay and then when you when you actually export it you get the id and then you can paste it into the animation script okay there's not there's probably not gonna be any scripts for you now or anything but um it's just gonna be the character but that's what this video is about okay this video is about how you can create the character and not the actual like uh, the ai or whatever the killer um the monster so it, this is just the, uh, the, the tutorial on how you can create a unique looking monster i guess so so yeah don't expect like a, a fully working one but if you already do have ai scripts you can also um do the same method you did for making the uh this monster how you took assets but you can do the same thing so you should search up ai and then you can see what ai's come up then you can copy and paste the ai scripts into it and that's not really that effective um, it is but you got to make it compatible with whatever your monster is and more on that later i guess in future tutorials but anyways that's the end of this tutorial so let me know what you guys want me to make next what roblox studio content i should make next thanks for watching smash sub and like and if you don't i well, yeah, so shout out to all these people for subscribing. Uh, if you want your name to appear, then on the next video, you just click then click that subscribe button. It's free, and yeah, who knows? You could be on the next video. Thank you guys, and that's it. That's that's it. Thank you. I will.